Hey. Okay, time to wake up, Derek. It's Monday. It's time for a post before I get on with my busy, busy day today. Today will be busy. I want to respond to a request. I get a lot of requests. I do. And I hope that uh, some of you equipment folks um, will watch this movie, movie, this video. I get a lot of requests about equipment. I don't know why. Um, all I talk about is records. I really don't know equipment. If I had money, I, I would. But good equipment costs money. The more you spend, the better you get is what I understand. I use basic uh, USB turntables. I have a, a, a turntable that was given to me years ago that um, I think it's a techniques. So I should probably, not should, but I've been thinking lately about um, what Jeff did. He had an old one fixed and he's really happy he did. So I may do that. I'm, I'm just explaining, just like as with music equipment, I'm not a gearhead. Um, I'm a fan of music and I'm a music record collector. I am a geek about records. I do. I like records. I love music, but I like records. I do like the artifacts. So with that in mind, I will I will respond to a request to show some picture discs. I do have picture discs. I don't generally look for them to buy them, but when I, I do buy some. I bought some. I have a few and I'm not, I didn't pull all. And I didn't pull any of my seven or 10 inch picture discs. Um, sound quality generally is not as good. So when I buy a picture disc, it's more for the collectability of it. I'll see it and I'll say, man, that really looks nice. And I think I'd like to have it. With that in mind, I'll start with um, a series of picture discs that Julian Cope put out when he was on Island Records of 12-inch um, singles. This is my favorite of them, Fear Loves This Place. And they come in this real neat kind of display box. It's all thick and stuff. And these are numbered. It doesn't say what the number, the addition of the, how many there are, but it's numbered. That's hard to take out. I won't take that one out. I have two more in this series. Um, Peggy Suicide. Again, it comes in the box numbered. This one's number 2011. And then here's one more. Um, Owlsbury Stones, I believe is the name of this one. Love me some Julian Cope, and I like how he took advantage of his, he did, he took advantage of his his uh, contract with Island, and he spent their money. <laughs> that dog. Okay, um, these are just some of my picture discs. I do, I have as many more as I'm showing you, if not more than that. So I'm just showing what I could pull this morning. Um, natural start is Genesis. I'm a, you know, I'm a big Genesis collector. Here's In Too Deep, 12 inch single on picture disc. Um, I have a few of those interview series discs, which you really don't. Do you guys ever listen to the interviews? I did, but um, mostly it was I'd wait to see these at a decent price and then I'd buy them. So I have the Genesis one. And I have a Peter Gabriel one. There's a bunch. Everyone, they make these on about everybody. You see them all the time at the record conventions. So I bought these. I broke down. I think I got them for less than 10 bucks a piece when I finally bit the bullet. Um, I have a picture disc of Genesis' first album from Genesis to Re Revelation. You know, they did not own the rights to that music. Um, Jonathan King who had the hit, everyone has gone to the moon. He owns the rights. So he was able to license this music countless times and make all kinds of money. And this is one of the examples where a, a picture disc was made of their first album. There are some amazing picture discs I would love to have. I recently showed a bass communion picture disc. It must still be down in the stacks. I looked for it in the but Pro, uh, Krautrock, Mythos, um, their first two albums are absolute classics of Krautrock.
but this one isn't, but I have it anyway. Concrete City by Mythos on Picture Disc of all things. Yeah, this is the Mythos. This is that band, that Krautrock Rock legendary band. This is just kind of trite. It's kind of like the guy lost lost it, lost what he lost his original inspiration. I hear he got it back after this, but I haven't heard any further recordings. I have a couple of Prince picture discs. My name is Prince. I've shown these already. Here's a shaped picture disc of Prince. It's in the shape of the symbol. Sexy MF. Here's an REM picture disc, Night Swimming. My boys. It was a long time ago, but I partied hard with these guys more than once. This one I'll have to take out. This is a album by Yamatsuka Ai of Boredoms and Shinro Otaki. I believe that Shinro Otaki is the visual artist and that they collaborated on this um, project together, Puzzle Punks. Great cover. The record's a picture disc. I'll get to it in a second, but I'm showing the cover because it's real cool. I love art. And then the album itself is a picture disc. Yamatsuka Ai and Shinro Otaki. That's who this is by. Another uh, interesting. This one is pretty strange. I to try to take some time to listen to that. One of my one of one of my top bands of the '90s was Catherine Wheel. Still to this day, uh, for me. And here's a picture disc of theirs for um, Crank. Strange picture. I'm sure there's quite a story behind this man with his tongue out. I'm even wondering if it's some sort of spiritual practice, or was it just some sort of odd picture? Chicks on Speed. Very cool band. Very cool band. Very, very cool. There it is. Chicks on Speed. No, I paid more than 99 cents for this, but... Uh, Chicks on Speed consider themselves kind of art terrorists. I like them. Here's Coil, window pane, picture disc. I don't even know what to say. Coil, coil, so intense. Window pane. I have a couple of uh, 12 inch singles by Mastodon on picture disc. Which one is this? Oh, I can't see it. I don't have my glasses. Mastodon. These are beautiful. Beautiful. And then one more. Divinations. On picture disc. Very nice. Wonderful artwork. I have uh, High Time by MC5 on Picture Disc. This is one I bought because I like the cover. This is not the best MC5 album. Um, and that's why I went ahead and bought it on Picture Disc because uh, mainly I like the cover. Two more of these that I'll show uh, today. These are two of my favorite Picture Discs in my collection. 13th Floor Elevators, Easter Everywhere. I love this album, but I love that that graphic, that sun on gold, and the um, the lettering, the fonts. I've always liked that cover. So when I saw it on picture disc, yeah. 13 full ele floor elevators, picture disc. Lastly, a good old sunrise. Got to have some sunrise. 
That's majestic. <clears throat> That's majestic on a picture disc, if you ask me. Of course, I have a regular version reissue of this so I can play the record, you know, well. But when I saw a picture disc of Sunrise, I said, I gotta have it. Gotta have it. So, um, anybody else want to show some picture discs?